Hey, what's up YouTube? How's it going? Me Tobias here. Um, so in today's video, if you saw my last video, you would have seen that I got my two 500 watt aquarium heaters that I'm gonna put in the pool pond. Here they are right here. These are them right here. Um, my goal today is going to be to test these out and set them up. So I was looking at them and it looks like the lowest temperature you could set them at. Let me focus on that. The lowest temperature you could set them to is um, 65 degrees. Those are the, oh my gosh, I can't focus. Focus. There we go. Um, so yeah, the lowest temperature you could set it to is like 65 degrees. And the highest you could set it to is 93. So I'm just going to set it to the lowest, 65. And I guess the way you do that is you just turn this little arrow until it points at the temperature you want. I've never owned like an aquarium heater so like geez I cannot focus. So like, yeah this is kind of new to me. I'm assuming that the way they work is that they're on like a thermostat and once they reach the temperature your desired temperature they should shut off. That's how I'm guessing they work. Um, they came with no instructions. So yeah I'm gonna test it out and they say they're fully submersible but I'm just gonna test them out in like a, a tub right now just so I can like see how they work before I put them in the pond because I don't want to like do something crazy like shock the fish or something so I I would feel more comfortable if I tested them out so this is the tub I'm gonna test the heaters out in just to see how they work and then I want to like take the temperature of this um, with the heaters in it just to see like how accurate they are all right there we go So I have both of the heaters plugged in and I tested the cable to just make sure that there's electricity going to it and there is, but um, I don't know, I can't tell if they're doing anything, like I touch them, maybe it's getting warm, I can't really tell. I'll go ahead, I'm, I think I'm probably going to wait like maybe 15 minutes or so and I'll put the thermometer in there and see how the water feels, because if I touch this water, and then I go over here and I touch the pond water. Let's see. Yeah, I touch the pond water. Yeah, the pond water is, whoa, the pond water is super cold compared to the, the bucket over here. So yeah, I would say it's working. All right, guys, so I put the thermometer down in this bucket and sure enough, you know, it was in the pool. It was in the pool pond and it was around 52 53 degrees and now it looks like it's over 60 like maybe like 61 62 degrees so i would say the heaters are working so now i'm going to go ahead and set these heaters up in the pool pond so let's go do that so i think what i'm going to do oh by the way guys i set this up the other day when it rained um i didn't want the you know the wires getting wet where they connect or the cables, I should say. So I got this like little plastic box. I think it was from like a Chinese, from like Chinese takeout or something. And I just cut two slits in it so I could stick the wires through and connected them on the inside. And yeah, they were, they stayed dry in the rain. But um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna have like this power splitter right there. Um, I'll probably move it over there and I'll have one heater set up in that corner. And then I got an extension cord and I'm going to have it go around the back of the pond and I'll have another heater set up in that corner. And we'll see how that does. Let's take a quick look at the fish. Got our butterfly koi right there. One of them. We got the other one right there. And yeah, a bunch of the goldfish right here. Oh, we got one black moor down there. Where is he? Oh, right there. Right there. And the, the other one is somewhere else. I saw him a second ago. Another thing I'm gonna have to do now that it's getting cold is I'm gonna have to prepare my water lily for the winter. So I'll make another video on that, but pretty much I'm gonna have to like trim all the 
stems coming out. So the plant will be uh, dormant for the winter. All right guys, so now I have the heaters like all connected and everything, they should be on right now. Um, got one right there. And like I said, the other one over there. And I don't expect the whole thing to get up to 65 degrees because I don't really know how many gallons these are actually rated for. This pool pond's about like 870 gallons. So we'll see what happens. I'm just hoping that like, like I was saying before, my concern was that it won't get cold enough for the fish to hibernate, but it might get cold enough for the fish to lose their appetite and then they'll stop eating. That's what I was kind of worried about. But um, my goal with these heaters is to keep it warm enough for the fish to like, you know, still be comfortable and eat and everything. He's on the move. He's on the move. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, the next thing I'm gonna have to do is build some sort of protection for all the wires. Um, and over here, I have the, I moved the other little, whoops, I just tripped over that rock. Uh, I, I did this. I put the, the these wires inside that Tupperware. So I needed a bigger container for the other one. So I found this like plastic coffee container that I'm gonna use. That should work. All right, check it out guys. This is what we got going on. I did this off camera because I was kind of having a difficult time with it and it was kind of taking a while, but I have all these wires going into this coffee, this like empty coffee can thing and check it out. Let me show you what it's like inside. So you open it up and yeah, I got everything in there and hopefully that'll be enough to protect it from the rain. All right guys, so that's just about it for this video. I got both heaters on right now everything is I think working fine um we'll see how well it works you know I'll probably have to I don't know if it is if it's going to heat up the whole pond or whatever but I felt the water around the heaters and I could tell it was getting you know a little bit warmer so we'll see what happens hopefully it'll be enough to um you know keep my fish eating and keep them healthy and everything so if you like this video guys, go ahead and give me a like, that helps me out a lot. And if you've never seen any of my other videos before, my name's Tobias, I do all sorts of videos. I do pool pond videos, um, I'm gonna have more fish videos coming very soon, more pool pond videos coming all the time. Um, I do cover songs, vlogs, reviews, I do a lot of different stuff. And um, I encourage you to go check out my channel, and if you like what you see there, hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace!